What are blending modes in Premiere Pro? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you just that. Blending modes affect how one clip interacts with the clips underneath it. So here on the timeline, we have a film burn clip and we want it to affect the clip underneath it. So in order to do this, we just need to select this clip and then go up to effect controls and then go down here to opacity. And under opacity here, we see blending mode. And if we drop down this little drop down here, we see a number of different options to choose from. And that's because these different blending modes are separated into different categories. And all these blending modes are gonna give the clips a different look. The first category that we have here is the normal category. And this is really just going to affect the transparency of your clip. It just gives it kind of a different look. So if we leave it at normal, you'll just get your normal opacity adjustment. But if we change this to dissolve, it starts to make certain pixels transparent. And honestly, I haven't ever really even used dissolve. This next category is the subtractive blend modes. And these blend modes are typically going to darken your clips by keeping the darker areas of the top clip and preserving the lighter areas of the bottom clip. The next category is the additive category. And this is going to make your clips brighter. It's going to keep the lighter portions of the top clip and preserve the darker portions of the bottom clip. The next category is the complex category. And the reason it's called complex is because it is so unique in the way that it affects the different colors. And the, really the big thing that dictates how the different colors change is gonna be whether or not the color is lighter than 50% gray. This next category is the difference category. And this is just going to invert your colors based on the differences between the two different clips colors. Then we have the HSL category or the hue, saturation, and luminosity category. And depending on which one of these that you pick, it's gonna take color aspects from the bottom clip and apply them to the top clip. Now let's talk about the most common used ones for video editors. Down here on the timeline, I have a film burn overlay, which is just a stock clip that I found online and it has a black background. So what we're gonna do is we're going to click on the clip, go up here to effect controls, go down here to blending mode. Then we're gonna go down here to the additive category and select screen because it's gonna get rid of that black background. And this works for all overlays that have a black background and it's one that I use most frequently. You can also play around with the other blending modes in the additive category. I just prefer screen. Now, if you wanna add film grain and you're using a stock video as an overlay, just position that above your clip, click on it, go up to effect controls and then go down to blending mode. And I like to use the complex category here. Typically I'll just use overlay, but I'll play around with the different options. And that looks pretty good for me. Now, if you have some text with a black background, you can also do some really cool things with blending mode. So I'll just go ahead and click on the clip and then I'll go up here to effect controls and then go down here to blending mode. And I'm gonna change this at first. Let's just change this to screen. And you see it just gets rid of that black background. Now let me show you what happens when we change the blending mode to darken. Now you get this cool see-through text effect, which is like super quick and simple to make. Blending modes offer so many ways to be creative in your videos. And if you wanna learn even more ways that you can be creative in your content, check out this video next and I'll see you in the next one.